I know before I started a comedy, I couldn't plan anything in advance. I missed out on weddings, I missed out on parties, because I was always sick. <clears throat> I knew that I'd never be able to plan in advance. Now I can plan six months in advance, I can plan a holiday. You know, I can plan to go to a wedding in three months and know that I'm actually going to be well enough to go. So it's not just about the cost. In the year before I started or camping, my lung functions were 59% and they had dropped to 39% um, the day that I started it. So when you're faced with a progressive illness like CF and you see that you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker, but it stopped my progression. I'm now at 43% and I can potentially get up to 47, 48%. So that for me, that's, that's my life back. I was facing transplant or death. I realistically, I don't think I would be still here if it wasn't for our Camby. I wouldn't be sitting here. I wouldn't be feeling as well as I am feeling. I'm 40 years old, so there's a lot of damage done to my body. Now, there's only so much it can do for me. Um, if it stops my progression like it has done, that's great, that's wonderful. But for kids coming up that are seven or eight or nine or 10, that can potentially stop that damage from even happening in the first place, and they can live very long and healthy lives. It's horrible. I mean, for me personally, I know I was told that I'll stay on the drug until it's approved. If it's um, a non-negotiable no, that they won't fund the drug, that's it, this drug is taken off me. I won't be here in two years' time. That's the reality because I'll start to get sick again. My body will not be able to function without or can be. And it's wrong that there's a price tag put on my life and on the lives of the 600 patients in Ireland that can't get access to it. That's just, it's so morally wrong. I mean, do our lives not matter to them?